Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturks and welcome back to Echoes of the Eye. I believe this is the first episode I've done live, like I've recorded it and acknowledged the fact that we had a milestone in the community quite recently. So I just want to take a few moments to talk about that. If you're not here for that and you're just here for Outer Wilds, skip forward a few minutes, you can pan through. You've used YouTube by now, you can, I trust you. A few days ago, slash a week ago, I got a message on Discord from someone I didn't recognize the username for. I, I'm not in any servers with them. They, they, you know, they joined our server, I believe. And it turns out that this person was Elis. And if you know anything about the Outwells community, Elis is a superstar. They do super cuts of people's playthroughs. You can see where this is going. In fact, if you're here, you, there's a good chance you've probably seen what I'm talking about. They did a super cut of our series, of the base game series so far. And I am honored. To my knowledge, there's not many places, there's not many like pages that get a playthrough super cut until it's finished. So honestly, like, I don't really know how to react to that point, because I've not finished the game yet. And there's going to be one for the DLC as well, um, which is another thing that kind of blew my socks off. And there's been over 200 of you now who have come over here from the Elis Supercut. So if you're here from that community and you've only just discovered me, thank you for giving me a try. And thank you for sticking by. Hopefully, I'll make it worth your while. For all those of you who have been here since the beginning, um, you're the Outer Wilds founders now. In the Discord we have a, a unique role for the founders. You'll be pleased to know guys, that's no longer available. So if you've got that tag, that's with you for life now. And I can't thank you anywhere near enough as I should. Now, talking about the game. We finally found the Freaklets. I want to say IRL, but it's not really, because it's in their dream. It's in their, you know, their dream state. And uh, there's a lot to unpack there. there. There really, really is. There's so much that I feel like happened very quickly, and I kind of, I was very brave. I was much braver than I was expecting to be. We found them. Um, and like I thought, as soon as we turn off the lights, things get a little bit creepy, they get a little bit scary. But if we think about it from their point of view, they're just chilling. They're just dreaming of a home they will never see again, for whatever reason, you know, they, they're not going home. For whatever reason, that is out of the table. They're, they're mourning that fact. They're sad about the fact they can't go home, so they dream about home. And then a little four foot five goblin comes crawling through the rafters with an artifact and a streak of determination in each of their eyes. Um, I would be pretty scared if I was them. That's stuff of nightmares, let alone from our perspective. You know, they were just dreaming of home, watching photo slide reels, and then we come scuttling through the house. They're well within their right to be a bit miffed. I did like the, the, it was genius and I hated it. The fact that when it first picks you up, it looks like it's going to bite you. It does, come on, we all thought it. Um, turns out they don't, they just blew out the candle. The second and I'm presuming all the times after that, they just go straight for blowing out the candle. But there is a moment where they pick you up and they're kind of like, who, who are you? What are you doing here? And even down to the details, like they hold their own lantern behind them. I made a joke about surely I can just blow out their lantern. You can't because they are put, you can see them hold it away from you. They're aware that it's something they can do. And I was talking to, um, I was talking to James about this, and I was saying, I, actually, no, I think they were saying like maybe it was a game that they used to play when they first went there. You know, kind of like kind of like hide and seek. And if you found someone, you just blow out the candle, and then they'd wake up like ah, dang it, and then come back again. So it's something they're obviously aware of. 
But now we need to go back there. We need to explore, we need to be brave, and I need to find the slate, not that slate, the other slate, with the with the passcode on it. Because that's what we're finding now, we're finding the passcodes. And I'm really not ready. So, I think we're going to go the quick way. I think we're going to go take the shortcut into the side of the stranger. Um, I'm I'm in two minds, right? Do we continue blunt forcing our way through the endless gorge or whatever it's called? What what was it? What is it actually called? The endless canyon? Do we keep blunt forcing our way through there, or do we try one of the earlier locations? Because that might be interesting. So we found the final slide reel, room, right? Um, we found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. Sound familiar? The figure hollow follows a procession of green lights through a forest to a candle-lit building, where they carry the container into a secret passage behind a roaring fireplace. Which is this. I found a hidden slide reel. It's going to say the same thing, isn't it? Yes, it's exactly the same thing. Um, so the, the the fireplace, it looks like they just walk through it. I don't know if we have to do anything with the light, necessarily. But I feel like maybe that could be a better place to go to. I know that this game is very open, right? And I know it's designed so we can go where we feel like we want to go. But it's the first location for a reason. However, I do have a really, really clever plan. Not actually all that clever, but for me, this is quite smart. We're going to enter the dreaming world at the gorge. And I'm going to take the elevator down and we're going to take the raft through to the shrouded woodland. Because then that way, when we have the water kind of knock over that first sleeping place, we will be unaffected. And it's going to be amazing. And I'm really happy that I thought about it. So we're going to go and land here. And we'll go about it this way. Because that's a more clever way of doing it. Um, I don't think... Uh... I don't think I'm going to... Yeah, okay, I'm committing to it. We're going to do the woodland today. Right? That just feels right to me. I can't really explain why. Just that's where I want this to go. I still... I shouldn't be chuckling. But... Surely they should have seen that coming, you know? Um, Could I maybe close that? That feels like a better way of doing it. There we go. Now we're all safe. Um, what was I saying? I feel like I had more to say, and I've forgotten what I was saying. Shrouded Woodland. We're doing it. We're doing this. We're doing this. That's where I'm going with it. I, I'll watch this back. Sorry, edit me. This is going to be really painful for you because you'll be like, "Oh my god, it was so obvious, Starks. You should have just kept talking about the thing that you were just talking about, but you forgot about because you were working, and now your brain is fried." Also, either that's the longest I've ever gone using my peripherals to steer myself anywhere. Um, we'll go hop in here. And I'm going to have a look around the woodland, because I don't think we ever got a real good look around. I, I did notice that there was some of the guys walking around already over there, so we do have that to deal with. Oh, it was the guy blowing himself up. Um, I think it's as simple as that's who's missing. Because you know how they're all accounted for. Unfortunately. That was a shadow. It was a shadow. That's all it was. It was just a shadow. I was trying to think who is missing. Is it this person who I think is being kind of omitted from their history? Is it, you know, the, the is, it, is it someone who's been like potentially locked in the sarcophagus because it is let's face it fairly kind of humanoid shape could be something like that it looks like something you'd bury someone in 
but at the same time then the light kind of came down from like waist height so it's either that they've got very extravagant nether region jewelry or whatever's producing that light is not humanoid it's something more abstract and if that's the case there isn't a body in there now if there isn't a body in there the only body i can think of that would be irretrievable would be that one that blew itself up but then again i've not seen any evidence of burial in this culture like there's no obvious sign of burial and i don't know how long they were here that's still very unclear to me. The chronology of it all is still incredibly unclear. So it's either they're incredibly long lived or they weren't here a particularly long time. I've never heard that door open before. That was a bit unnerving. Quite genuinely. So, where was I going with this? Yeah, either they're just really short-lived or they weren't here for very long. I don't know what the two are. Wait, wait, no, that's not. Either they're really long-lived, sorry, or they haven't been here very long. But I genuinely don't know which one it is yet. And I'm hoping that will be clarified at some point because otherwise it's going to drive me up the wall. Because I need to know. I have a burning desire to know more. And I've got to admit, there was maybe a, a period of time in the early days of playing the DLC. I mean, we're still in early days. You know, I haven't been playing it for that long. But in the really early days of playing the DLC, where I feel like it was alright, but I wasn't like hooked like I was in the base game. But now I feel it. I feel a compulsion to know more. You know? It's like... My soul compels me to know. I think that's the best way of describing it. So, we'll hop on here and we're going to go and have a look at the beginning at the Shrouded Woodland, I believe it's called, and have a good look around, try to find our way to the other side of the woods, um, and get to the house with the music. Because as creepy as these fellas are, I would very much like to explore it when there's a little bit of danger. I appreciate now, if I do die, I'm going to have to do all this journey again. That has just hit me, but it is better than me getting woken up. And actually, this is probably the best place to do this tactic, because I feel if we did it from the tower, then we'd have to go through the tower and the gorge. Wouldn't we? Yeah, we'd have to do two. So actually, this is the better place. Oh, boy. Oh boy. I despise these vibes, guys. There we go. And I have noticed, um, someone asked if I had noticed, because I haven't actively like referred to it. I have noticed we don't have a spacesuit on. I have noticed that we, you know, we don't have that protective bubble as this person kind of um, worded it we don't have that oh no ah bugger wait am I gonna have to find another way around have I oh dear right no there's gotta be a way gotta be a way You don't have to make any noise at me. Right, this might actually not work. We might have to come here first. Oh, if I, I swear to God, if I end up back in the endless chasm, whatever it is, I'm going to get that word wrong every single time. 
Let's get a little bit closer. Um, well. I think we might have buggered it up. Oh, really? Am I going to have to go back to the first place first? Well, if that's the case, I'm eating myself right off right now. We're going back. Back in a moment, gentlemen. I have things to do. I have to do it in a different order. I thought I could be smart. Turns out I was being too smart for once in my life. So, uh... Is there even a raft here? Um, don't tell me I'm gonna have to do this raftless. I'm gonna have to do this raftless. Or am I like, no, 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 I don't. I don't. I do not have to go raftless. I can go through here instead. And I'm gonna do this without using the camera because I feel like I can remember the way. Oh, through. And there was a moment there where I was thinking, is it left or is it right? No, there we go. It's that way through. Because if I go down here, there's a way down. And I believe... Yep. Oh, it's almost like it's meant to be. Right then. Push the raft. And away we go. Right, so... I pushed the boat out a bit too quick. Um, we have to do this the proper way. At least I get kudos for trying, right? Surely? <laughs> so I'm going to have to run. At least I've got the artifact as well. I can literally just go straight to that tower. So we'll go over there. Blow out the thing, and then I'm going to have to, like get back to the gorge quickly because there's no way if I had the jetpack I could you know parkour a little bit but I don't believe our little Harthian legs are strong enough for us to do some of the parkour that is required I may have left this a bit late. And if I do, I apologise in advance because this is going to be a really stressful episode. Because after this, I don't know where else we can go explore. Maybe the second one, but then again, that's going to fall apart as well, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'm gonna do some speed sleeping. Da -da 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 -da. Hello, everyone. Wakey, wakey time. My own shadow just scared me then for a moment. But I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to pretend that I was not scared. Right. Over here. Then I need to go... Round here. Then I need to blow that out. Then we can yeet in here. Then I could say goodbye to them. Run back up here. And really quickly try to get to a safe haven. If I can get to the gorge, I can get to the gorge. If I can't get to the gorge, then I can't get to the gorge. But we will just have to wait and see. This one, this way, it'll be quicker. Maybe not now. That doesn't look quicker anymore. Not even gonna look. Not even gonna look. Not even gonna do it the benefit of looking. But we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. If you don't look at it, it's not gonna affect you. Don't look at it, not gonna affect you. Don't look at it, not gonna affect you. Don't look at it. Mm -mm. I'm gonna get slam dunked. <gasps> Boat! Don't do me like this! No!
Well. I survived it. I'm going completely the wrong way. I'm going completely the wrong way. Ow. Bugger it. Right. We're going to have to do another, another loop. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Oh my god, come on. Come on, please! Right, turn my light off so I'm not going to keep turning the bloody thing on. Right. Why would you get in my way? Right, we'll spin around this way. We'll hang a left. Time some proper white water rafting, guys. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> done it. No, we haven't. We've far from done it. <laughs> okay. Take two. Back to the gorge we go. Oh, I can't get back to the gorge. No, I can get back to the gorge. Oh, my god. I'm making such a pig's ear of this. So we go this way. And hang right. We need to get back to the gorge. Let's get back to the gorge. That way. That way. That way. That way. This way. Por favor. I hope these things can't break, because that'd be really unfortunate. Breaking an ancient alien raft is not something I particularly want to do today. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy. Right. We can do it. <laughs> I am getting crashing on everything today. In my defence, some levels of stress were had. Right. Now we can relax a little bit, but I don't even know how much longer I have left. Probably not long enough. But we know for next time. Next time we want to explore the shadow place. We don't go here first. We go there first, because that's the more clever way of doing it. Right, this should all still be open though. So we can go and do this. Oh boy. Right. Function. Right. Oh, I'm going to have to run the whole way down again. Oh, I'm going to have to run the whole way around again. Not really. Yes, but no. We'll just have to go down here and then round there. Cool. I can do it. This is prep. This is prep time. This is just practicing for the heist. Don't like how rickety everything is. Even by a Harthian standards. Some of this stuff, a little bit shady. We can do this. At least in some regard. I might I might be cutting it fine, but I'm determined to get some level of exploration done there. I'm being an optimist. I'm being forever the optimist. Alrighty then. Get me a raft, please. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't it just manic how... Imagine seeing the, these guys seeing me going through here now, just like absolutely blasting the raft through the water. It's like he looks like he looks like he knows where he's going. But I do to an extent. It's still mad to me there's an entire other village underneath this area. 
like that's that blew me away i i was not expecting that i was expecting that's to be like obviously that is definitely where i feel like the dlc is gonna end but i was just expecting something more i was expecting like something smaller from it something more personal perhaps right now in my mind right there shouldn't be any more fellas walking around because all their lights would have been extinguished In my mind, anyway. But what I do know is I need to sneak like I have never sneaked before. All the way over here. Have I gone the wrong way? This soundtrack is rancid. The vibes are not good. There's no more music. No more. No more music. No. Part of me feels like I should be happy about the fact that they're maybe not here, but if they're not here, then they're dead. So I'm so sorry. You were just playing music. That's all you were doing. You were just playing music. They had no idea what was going on out there. Just one final song. I am so sorry. so lost it's so quiet The more we get into this, the less scared I am of them. I just... There was times when I genuinely thought these guys were... I don't know. Not evil. So I, I don't... I don't believe them to be evil. I, I don't think I ever have. There's definitely something darker here. There's something more there's something less know my about them you know that they all feel emotion the know my definitely did they felt their share of anger and 
rage and whatnot. Maybe not to the same extent. I feel like know my anger, know my rage is quite muted. I feel like it's quite withheld compared to maybe what we've seen with these other guys. But there was a moment where I thought... I thought not very much of them. I, I you know, I didn't appreciate the, the rage and the hate. You know, they, in my mind, it's never a, an excuse to exclude kindness. And I feel like every time we take two steps forwards towards caring about them and being kind toward them and th that's the irony and i know i know it it gives us another reason to doubt but it wasn't that long ago i was genuinely excited by the idea of what well if i wait long enough then i can just waltz straight in there you know And now I've waltzed in there and I feel hollow. And I feel pity. And these weren't emotions I was expecting to feel today. And now I need to know more. We know how to do it now. I, I need to re-watch the slides for how they get to this music house I do because they take a certain path and I know it's done on purpose so I need to pay attention to it there's something there's some kind of hidden path there I think so I need to rewatch that but I know what to do as always though guys thank you so much for joining me so far it means the world to me as always I have been Sturks you have been incredible, and I will catch you all later for the next part of our little adventure.